Hi everyone, and this is Dr. Nelly. So in the previous video, I talked about the idea of quantifying percent error in precision and accuracy using a couple of um, statistical quantities, standard deviation and mean, uh, which is the average. Uh, I want to finish off that uh, component of error calculation uh, t and talking about how you write um, your result. You know, once you quantify the standard deviation, once you calculate the standard deviation, you have the mean. What you want to be able to do is then report it to other people so they have an idea of what is the spread or the variation in your data. Okay, so remember that the standard deviation measures the spread in your data. And so uh, a lot of times the error um, or the standard deviation, the spread of the data, is reported in this form where you write mean the value, you know, the value that you calculate as your mean plus minus the standard deviation. Uh, an important um, thing to keep in mind when you're writing the um, result in this form is to realize that the mean and the standard deviation both have the same number of decimals in this case. Okay, so we're not talking about significant figures here. We're just talking about the same number of decimals. Okay, so this is something to keep in mind. It's very important. Um, so, for example, let's say you calculate your mean, okay, and when you calculate your mean, uh, you find that your uh, mean is 2.5 grams, let's say, uh, out of your mass measurement. And then you plug in your um, numbers into your calculator, you calculate your standard deviation using the formula I talked about in the previous video, and you found that number uh, that was given to you by the calculator to be 0.15678 grams, okay? Now, instead of writing 2.5 grams plus minus 0.15678, what you should do is limit this standard deviation to be the same number of decimals as the mean. So in this case, the mean only has one decimal. So then the answer should just, the standard deviation should also have one decimal and should be just 0.2. Okay, so in other words, the answer should be 2.5 plus minus 0.2 grams. Let me talk to you about uh, the reasoning for this uh, on the next page. Hi everyone, so let's talk about this idea why we have to write the standard deviation with the same number of decimals as the mean. So if you remember from the previous example, I had this um, mean of 2.5 grams and then I have the standard deviation of 0.15678 grams, okay? So if I were to report the value um, to other people, I would write the uh, value as the mean plus minus the standard deviation because immediately that gives other people a, a, an indication of how big or how uh, large the value of the standard deviation is, which tells other people about the variability or the spread of the data. Again, the bigger the spread, the worse the data is, the less precise it is, and the, the smaller the spread, the more precise the data is. Now, if you were to write this uh, out mean plus minus standard deviation, what you're saying is basically the data is spread over the value of the mean plus the standard deviation and the value of the mean minus the standard deviation. In other words, there's a range in the data, okay? Let's say the mean is right here, then this is one standard deviation, this is, uh, you know, this is plus one standard deviation, this is minus uh, one standard deviation. So your data is spread over this particular range. And that gives people a, a bit of a, a feel for how wide the variation is in your data. If, let's say, for example, a second student uh, makes this calculation and has a spread of this much for the plus minus one standard deviation, then that student's clearly a, um, has some more precise data than this student, for example. Okay, so now let's talk about this reporting of the value. If you post, uh, if you write the numbers as mean minus standard deviation and mean plus standard deviation, what you get is the following calculation. I can just calculate these numbers for you. So as you'll see, what, what I did here was just to take the value of the mean, 2.5 grams, and then I would subtract it with the value of the standard deviation, which is, that's what I got from my calculator, and then add it with the standard deviation that I got from my calculator. And what you see, of course, is that the result if I were to just add and subtract these numbers together, 2.5 and, you know, minus 0.15678, I'm going to get this number, 2.34322 grams, and then if I add them, I get 2.65678 grams. Okay. Now, uh, 
I want you to think about this a little bit at this point. You can pause the video and think about this question after I mentioned, which is what is the issue here when you write this number like this, okay? Right, 2.34322 and 2.65678 versus what you had earlier with the mean, okay? You can pause the video, think about it, and then continue it because then I'm going to give you the answer now, okay? What the issue, of course, is that the mean which is based on your precision, based on the instrument that you use, you know, using appropriate significant figure calculation, limits you to two sig figs, right, 2.5, okay? So the answer, though, that you get if you're using these calculated numbers of the standard deviation is 2.34322, which means that now you have a lot more significant figures. You have, in fact, six significant figures in both numbers. What that means is that it doesn't uh, make sense with the actual precision of your instrument. Your instrument only has a precision up till 2.5 uh, sig fig, but your calculation gives you more sig fig in the answer. So as a result, what you need to think about is this is not meaningful, this number, okay? And so the number of... Um, digits you use in the standard deviation should then be dependent on the mean and in this case it's dependent on how many decimals the mean has. So the correct answer here if you want to write this out would be to write mean minus, right, if you want to do the mean minus standard deviation it should be 2.5 grams minus the standard deviation but it's rounded to the first decimal which is 0.2 grams and then mean uh, plus standard deviation would just be 2.5 grams uh, plus 0.2 grams okay and so what you get here is 2.3 grams and you get 2.7 grams so in other words your data you think about the mean here being 2.5 grams your data ranges from 2.3 grams to 2.7 grams and that makes sense because everybody now all these numbers have the same uh, precision which is indicated by the uh, uh, significant figures okay so what I want to do um, uh, you know in, in this video and then the next video briefly in the next video is to kind of go through the calculations of these statistical quantities that you're going to need to do um, in a couple of the labs so you'll be doing this semester as well as some questions and lecture. Um, what you, again, we're going to be working with the data that we saw before in one of the prior videos on masses and students making these measurements with the true mass given at 10 grams. And what I want you to do here is to uh, look at the data from student C, which is shown right here, and then uh, for the four trials that this person did, and you want to calculate all of the following um, quantities that's being asked here, the mean and the median, the percent error in the precision of the student versus, and, and the percent error in accuracy. And then, as we just talked about, try to write out how the student will report the value of the error, which is the standard deviation in this case, as uh, they would in a scientific publication. Okay? Um, I'm going to end the video now. You can work on it. You can work on this problem. Um, and then the next video would kind of guide you step by step of how uh, I would solve this problem.